YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and I'm joined here today by the one and only Fallen 166. Fallen 166. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know who Fallen is, he plays a lot of the games for the channel and he's doing all the GTAs. And we're gonna do Throwback Thursday for GTA 3 today, but what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, you played the whole thing, I right? I played it. And do you think it's good for a game movie? No, I no. really don't think so. Yeah, dude. It, it, I was playing for a long time. I kept dying. The aiming's really bad in the game. <laughs> I did not remember any of that stuff from when I played a long time ago. Nah, when you're a kid, you're just running around <laughs> trying to kill. There's missions in There's GTA. Cars? <laughs> like, <Drive? laughs> like, uh, I like driving. Yeah, no, yeah, dude. And I was starting to edit it. We're gonna put it up, and it's just it's not worth doing a game movie in my opinion because it's just a bunch of fetch quests. Like infinite, just like go kill this guy, go kill that guy. I will admit, I, I was messing around for a bit with the low rider. Yeah. I wasn't recording that, you didn't see yeah. that, but <laughs> I was messing with that car. <laughs> yeah, but so playing some GTA 3, we're thinking about, we're just talking to ourselves, we want to make a commentary about it. It's like, what's the best GTA of all time? You know, so we got, I think automatically you got to scratch off one and two, those are just like. Yeah, you gotta skip those. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Grand Theft Auto, but it's just like the, the whole view is from the top. Yeah. And it's just, uh. It was just a different. It was like before Grand Theft Auto became what it they is. They should have just changed the name. It's just it's like, like. Yeah, it's just some old, old other game. Throw that away, delete it. Yeah. So, like, the options I would say you have is GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, and GTA 5. I don't know. You know, I'm there's missing. actually some for the PSP. Vice oh, City okay. Stories, Liberty City Stories. Oh, there. you're right. I'm you're not right. sure if it's the right name, but... No, no, you're two. right. There were two, yeah. No, because I, I get confused because sometimes it's like, uh, you know how GTA 4 had like Ballad of Gay Tony and... And um, um, Lost and Damned. The Lost and the Damned, and those are called like the Liberty City Stories. Yeah. So it's just, it's all confused. There's also one for the DS too, it was called Chinatown Wars, and that one... Oh, yeah, you're right. You're that right. one was actually pretty good, and that, that one had like the old time perspective, but it was still... It was still good for the DS. You, you know, know? For, I think for DS, then you can probably bring back the old two. Yeah. Like on the phone, on the phone, yeah. That would yeah. make sense. Yeah, on the phone, you can play San Andreas now. It's just crazy. Oh, well, if you can play San Andreas, <laughs> you don't bring back the old one. Hey, you don't need to bring back any other one. <laughs> we'll just so, stick with San Andreas and you're good, you know? All right. So, like, what would you say is the best GTA ever? And, like, why do you think it's the best one ever? You know what? I'd probably go with Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh-huh. Cause there's actually a, a whole storyline behind it and like i i'm pretty sure like during the, those times like a lot of people like the fact that you can customize the cars you said five though right now i'm sorry i said five i yeah. meant san andreas my okay <laughs> like like what i'm sorry i've been playing gta 5 way too much <laughs> yeah so uh, san andreas san andreas yeah because yeah. you can customize the cars, the storyline was good. Like it actually had a storyline. Like, yeah. The character would talk, unlike Grand Theft Auto Three. I don't remember about Vice <laughs> City because I haven't started that one yet. Yeah, it's been a while, so I, have, yeah. I don't remember either. Um, but I remember it was a good game. I remember both of them were good. It's just Grand Theft Auto Three, the storyline. The character didn't talk. There wasn't really a storyline. It was just like, oh, go kill this guy. It's like okay, go pick up this car. Just yeah. like okay, I did that twenty times already. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> All right, go, even... <laughs> go pick up Mindy or Misty or whatever. Misty, I mean, I've been in, like 20 minutes into the game, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. I, I remember back then, I, when my cousins first showed me the game, they they didn't even like, ah, there's no there's no story. You just drive around and kill people. Yeah, you nobody know? was playing the mission. You just like... everybody. <laughs> and, and no wonder they weren't playing the missions because, man, I just didn't remember it being that that shallow but you know it's still it's still fun it was still fun to, to I, play. I remember playing it at a friend's house and like all i did was just kill people yeah and then i eventually played it on the computer uh -huh. like probably two years after it came out yeah i beat it but it was just like on the computer it's easy because you have the mouse like the aiming is way better yeah that's oh that's another thing because on the ps2 it didn't it doesn't i don't think it has aiming at all it's just kind of like an auto lock and you would yeah. you would stop and shoot in whatever direction you're facing. Yeah. And turn around, you would have to get out of that position and turn around again. And by that time, you're already dead. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, already, you already got fucked up. I mean, I finished the game, but it's just like, damn, that was way too too bad. Like, yeah. the game was really bad. Yeah. 
It's true, dude. I, I saw I saw the footage. It was I, I bad. I got to the point where I just started doing drive-bys just to make it easy. <laughs> I had a bulletproof pump. <laughs> no, no matter what the situation is, just like drive-by, drive-by. Drive drive like, <laughs> all right, you uh, got to rob this bank. We just, can do it from out here, we boy. Can do it from out here. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a tank or something. I'm like right out here. No <laughs> the cops ain't coming. <laughs> You know what, though? But I would say San Andreas, too, just because, like, I've always been about the story. I think the gameplay has, they've made it better as, as like, the, each game comes out. But for the most part, you're looking at the same game, you know? Yeah, well, I you think, know? like, after San Andreas, they realized, like, all right, we need to start making stories that go with the game. Yeah. The older ones, I don't really remember the storyline. It was just, like, kind of the same as um, Grand Theft Auto 3. Yeah. But, like, Grand Theft Auto 3 started it all. Like, yeah. it, the aiming was really bad, but then again, it was, like, the... It was like the beginning of a. Uh... Oh yeah, dude. I, I was no. I, I I think I would say San Andreas is the best one because it had the best story in my opinion. Because everybody loves the hood, you know, the little hood story type thing. Coming yeah, that just like... that gave everyone the opportunity to become like that that gangster. You know, everyone's yeah. ra- watching the rappers like, yeah, I want to be hard. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I want to be hard, <laughs> dude. Especially at that time, it was probably around the time you had like all those like Fifty Cent and those, like those days. Like people were into that shit, even though now you look back, you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, yeah, you know, well, but like you can't do that anymore now yeah, with the games. Yeah, the games now you can't. You won't be all tough. <laughs> You're not gonna be CJ. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's only one CJ, there's bro. Only one CJ. You got Franklin now. <laughs> <laughs> but like you're you're right though about like you're about to say about GTA three. I think that's the most influential one. It's not the best one, but it's the most influential one because just like you just said, it was it's the one that changed everything. Like I think that was the first game where people were like, oh shit. Like you know, it's also another thing you gotta take into consideration. Like uh, every single Grand Theft Auto has like a different character, and yeah. every character has like a different story mode. Like I mean, storyline, and yeah. like all of them do like different stuff. Like GTA Three. I mean, you're pretty much working for the Mafia the Triads, or was it Yakuza? I don't really yeah, remember. Yakuza I at the already. second half. Yeah. Yeah, and then then in Vice City, I don't really remember because I didn't I haven't played it in a long time. Yeah. San Andreas, you're obviously in the gang, you know? Yeah. Then they betray you, and then, yeah, you go back after Grocery them. Grocery for life, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. um... GTA 4 was four. the Russian uh, Nico, and then he comes Yeah, so you like, have different backgrounds for every yeah. character. And then for 4, you had the Ballad of Gay Tony and... And Lost in the Dam. Lost in the Dam. Yeah. So you got to play as a biker. You got to play as, um... What was Gay Tony like? The, what did you call the him? The Puerto Rican character. Yeah. <laughs> got his name. Oh my God, I can't remember. Uh huh. But uh, it was it was, they're both good. Yeah. And then for San Andreas, I mean, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, you got to play as five different characters. You got to play as Michael, which was like the rich, yeah, successful three guy. different characters. I'm sorry, three. Yeah, but, um, Michael. I'm Franklin. just saying, like, random. Yeah, like, <laughs> anything that comes to mind. GTA Five, so there's five characters. Yeah. yeah. And then um, you got to play as Trevor, which was like you got to see like. All right, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but like the crackhead point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the meth head. The yeah. meth head, yeah, you got to be like a drug addict. Yeah. And you got to be like the rich guy. Yeah. And you got to be like Franklin, which was like supposed to be the hood. Yeah, like the, the hood. street level, yeah. Yeah, but he was trying to get out of the hood, obviously. Yeah, no, I, I, I guess that was their whole idea was that they wanted, instead of, you made the perfect point right now, because then like GTA 4 is one thing, then the other... Vice yeah. City, this and that. And I, yeah, I guess GTA 5 just wanted to put it all together in one you know like just to give you every experience you can have from all the different levels and like i i thought it was good but it was a little there's a little too much jumping around because you know i like trevor was crazy but then like the first desert missions are kind of boring to me you know so then it's he, he had it's random like, missions though like yeah Trevor was <laughs> But, but Trevor yeah. honestly was the funniest character. Yeah, he no, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's yeah. hilarious. Like, yeah. he, he was doing some weird stuff, but... Yeah. He, he works the best when he's with the other characters, because then he can play off of them and be funny yeah, to Trevor, me. I, I thought it was Trevor and Lamar together mm. was funny. Oh, Lamar, dude, Lamar no, Lamar. And Trevor, oh, my. Lamar dude. is the hood character. <laughs> Lamar is the number you one character. You need a DLC. I want to be L- Lamar. That's it. Just Actually, yeah, I heard rumors about that, too. They were thinking of having, like, a single-player DLC like, for... Yeah, that would be, like... Just to remember GT, I mean, uh, San Andreas. Yeah. You hit Lamar. That was, <laughs> that would that's be CJ it. right there. <laughs> but uh, the, the one, now looking at reviews, though, I want to also say then GTA 4 is the only one that got perfect 10. And I, I remember when that happened, like, I never understood that. Like, GTA 4 to me was so overrated. Like, 
for one, the driving was complete shit in that game. Like, I don't care what anybody says. That the driving was like. Well, I think it's just because like when you start off, like all the cars within that area are yeah, just really bad. That's true. That's true. Then like once you get to Liberty City or like a better area, a nicer area, then you start yeah. seeing like the better cars. Yeah. And the faster cars, like all the better, the cars with better handling and everything. Okay, that's true. But still, it's just the feel just didn't feel like immediately in, in GTA Five. The feel was better for me. And like I don't know why they did that or if it, you know what it was. What? And then and then Nico to me I didn't really love his character either. Like he was kind of plain to me. He didn't have any he didn't anything <laughs> about him. You know. Even like the clothing options was like embarrassing. Like yeah. that. <laughs> the whole of GTA Four like it was a good game. It's just Nico was just it was just a weird character. But the thing yeah. is like I, I like that the fact that every single game you use a different character. It's not you're not gonna be stuck with. Yeah. The same guy. No, yeah. that's true. That's Because obviously true. a lot of people want to play San Andreas again. Yeah. But the thing is, like, if they keep making the same game over and over again, do you want to keep playing CJ, CJ, CJ? Yeah, no. Nah, like, yeah. obviously a lot of people want to do that. But yeah. what they should do for the future g- games is, like, allow you to customize things like they did in San Andreas. Yeah. And make it, like, um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. And, like, that would make it a lot better. People like that and, like, come up with a good yeah. storyline. You know what I'm waiting for storyline-wise would be sick is... If they bring all these characters, because it all takes place in the same universe, so like they should have one game at least where you you have CJ, Nico, and every you know any favorite character you have Franklin. Like it would be sick to see Franklin, CJ. You know, I want like, I want um CJ and Lamar together. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fucking sick. Trevor dude. meets the guy from Grand Theft Auto Four. Yeah, Nico. Nico. Yeah, that would be funny because yeah. like Nico would be like, "What? Yeah. What is this guy saying?" <laughs> and remember, he even uh, what was his name, man? The the biker and Trevor, the first one that he. Oh, were you in the beginning of Grand Theft Auto Five? The guy he kills? Yeah, he killed. Well, spoiler alert. Sorry, but sorry. yeah, you guys should know already. The game's <laughs> yeah, been out game, like two years. Yeah, I played the game a long time yeah. ago. But he, <laughs> twice. I, man, what's his biker's name, bro? He's in the Lost in the Dams, and then they make him look like a little bitch in GTA Five. Oh man, I'm shocked that that happened though. While I was playing the game, and I saw that cut. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? Like, like, wait a minute, like he's a beast now. He's just like because he, he became a meth head, so he's just yeah. like a little bitch now. Oh man, I can't even remember the name. Oh uh, whatever. I mean, you guys, you guys, let us know what. Yeah, his leave name a message. Uh, leave yeah. a comment. Yeah. <laughs> you dumbass <laughs> motherfucker! I already know. Like you guys are talking about GTA, yeah. you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, guys, we just wanted to talk about what we thought was our favorite one. It's very unscientific. Like we've played them a long ass time ago. You know, it's not. It's not like we're on this shit all the time. But just from a general fans perspective, we both think that San Andreas is is, is the best one. Ever. I would say GTA 3 is probably the most influential. I don't know what you think. Yeah, that's where it started. Yeah. Like, that's where it started to branch out from the other two. Started, yeah. Started, like, something new. Yeah. Kind of like that one game. I don't know if I'm saying the right name. I think it was Driver. Okay. So, I didn't, something like that. With a three in it? Is that what it is? No, I don't know. I haven't. I think it was called Driver. I could be wrong if someone knows what I'm talking about. It's an old game for PlayStation where okay. you're able to drive around and, and use the character, like, get out of the car, run around. Okay, I never, yeah, I never played that game. I, yeah, I believe it was called Driver, but like uh-huh. when I played Grand Theft Auto Three, I was like, wow, this game is like Driver. Oh, okay. And so. then that's that's why I felt like Grand Theft Auto was a good game. Cause yeah. Like for the first two were just like, oh, from the sky view, you can obviously get out of the car, but it was just like, it was like all pixelated. You couldn't see anything. You. I mean, it was it's an old game. Yeah, it's not. Old. It's, it's really yeah. Old. I mean, it's not. It's, it can be three D because yeah. there is no three D in that. But area, like from you know? those two games to Grand Theft Auto Three. And here now I for um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, they, they're doing a really good job right now. Yeah, yeah. Grand Theft Auto Three. If you think about the jump from two to three, it's like a fucking yeah. Well, Ro- Rockstar is smart. Like yeah. they also had um, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, it's the same type of game. You have a horse instead, but you're not driving around a car. But it's the same type of mechanics and everything. Like it's the just same. in a different setting. Yeah, yeah. Which like, like Rockstar, like any type of game like that, like all, all of them do well. Yeah, all of them are really good. You want to play something like that? Yeah, true. Well, all right, guys, let us know what you guys think, and you can tear us to shreds on all the stuff that we got wrong. <laughs> but like I said, we're just giving our general fan perspective. Let us know what you guys think is the best game in the GTA series. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Later, guys.